Jamie Oliver had some very sound advice for us this week from his kitchen. Straight in there. Be quite quick. Always dip away from you and plop away from you. <laughs> I always try, but it's not always that easy to control. This week, Jamie was concentrating on the brassicas. For instance, this cauliflower here. Look at the colour of that. Yeah, it's the wrong colour. <laughs> it's purple. Cauliflowers are white. Although, admittedly, a purple one would be easier to spot in my mum's cheese sauce. <laughs> it seemed Jamie was going all eco-friendly. Instead of actually cooking the food, he was saving energy by just doing the sound effects. And then the Italians have a version which they call rapi, which is fantastic. And they'll cook it in a big pan of just a little bit of pork fat, maybe. <laughs> you know what you do? You get a little bit of good vinegar and you splash it in there. Yeah, yeah. I'll do the sound effects of my cooking from Tuesday night. Earthquake. <laughs> Those weren't the only sound effects Jamie was doing. It seemed to me he was practicing up to be a rapper, like on the records. Smoky bacon, chunks of apple and raisins and sweets of red wine vinegar and do that beautiful red cabbage dish. Yeah, yeah. We put together a little number for him that we call the Jamie Rap. Smoky bacon, chunks of apple and Banging. Yeah. Yeah, with Jamie Rapp. If the young folks get behind it, it could sweep the funky house scene. <laughs> Well, with the celery season upon us, Jamie was getting very excited by a particular part of the celery. It's actually this part here. That is what anyone that knows and understands cooking gets excited about. <laughs> that bit here. No, see, I get very excited about that bit. <laughs> So the real hero of this dish is the cabbages in the garden. So I want to go and pick some of those beautiful spring cabbages and then I'll come back and finish this whole dish off. Okay, Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> Just wait for him to come back. <laughs> Actually, I'll... <laughs> So what we do is trim this all up, and this spring cabbage here, just cut the stalk off, like that. Bit naughty, just a bit of fun. What's that cookery show where the members of the public have to cook with a celebrity chef? They can't cook, um... It's about people that can't cook and that don't think they can cook. <laughs> Can't cook, don't think they can cook, that's right. Yeah, yeah. It's Jamie's Ministry of Food, and Jamie's still struggling to get his Pass It On cookery experiment off the ground. If you haven't heard about Pass It On, here's what it's all about. If each class member teaches the recipe to two friends, and each friend, in turn, teaches it to two more, in theory, the whole of Rotherham could be cooking fresh food in six months. Yeah, I'm starting my own campaign. It's called Switch It Off. <laughs> if I teach two friends to switch off Jamie, and each friend in turn teaches it to two more, in theory, the whole of the United Kingdom could have switched off Jamie in six months. Switch it off. <laughs>